Hey folks, today I'm going to make some curry chicken salad. I was looking to buy curry chicken salad at uh, HEB today, and I've actually looked a few different places to see if I could find one that I really liked. They all have like, raisins in them. I guess a lot of people like to have fruit with their curry chicken salad, or even fruit in general in a chicken salad. I don't like that. I looked at the ingredients on them and I'm like, I could come up with my own version, my own that I like. It does not contain any raisins or apricots or apples or anything. So this is what I came up with. And it looks, it smells really good. I have not, I, I've tasted it, you know, while I was making, but it's been in the refrigerator. All the flavors are mingling. So here's how I made it and then stay tuned, come back and wait for the taste test and we'll see, see how I did. So carry on. Okay, here we go. Here we have a uh, half a cup of plain yogurt. It doesn't have to be Greek yogurt. This is just plain yogurt and this is a uh, whole milk full fat yogurt. You could use you know skim or whatever then a quarter cup of mayo this is Hellman's by the way because that's what I had on hand and I'm not gonna use this yet but this is the curry that I love the Sharwoods this is their hot and it's got great flavor now I have a quarter of a cup of celery and then about a tablespoon of green onions minced. That's two green onions. And then about a uh, uh, quarter cup of uh, cilantro. And then a teaspoon of lemon juice. Now a tablespoon of the curry powder. You could add more. You could add less. Not as much. But I, I, felt, I felt that a tablespoon was a good start. And then, of course, salt and pepper to taste. We'll go with that much salt. And then a few grinds of black pepper. And then we'll give that a taste once we've mixed this all together. Okay, see how it tastes. Hmm. Okay, I think that's the right amount. If you want a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, add to your own liking. For me, this is good. Now I'm going to add 8 ounces of diced rotisserie chicken breast that I you know, picked up at the grocery store. That's how they make theirs. <laughs> and then I'm just going to fold this all together. Notice, no raisins or apples. Okay. Just gonna add this to serving dish and refrigerate. Pretty easy to make if you ask me. Now this has been refrigerated. Mmm. I love that the smell of curry and then the, the cilantro. Well, let me give this a taste. Now I found these little rice crackers. They're not rice cakes, they're rice crackers. These are really good. If you can find rice crackers, give them a try. They work really good with something like this. Oh yeah, it was a, it was a help, healthy serving. So let's give it a taste. Oh, that's how. Get a close up look. Oh yeah, I need another bite of that. Wow, that is perfect, folks. If you're looking for a really good curry chicken salad recipe that's not like any of the others that has like apples or raisins or you know you just want a good curry chicken salad that tastes good this is it right here this is so easy well there you have it folks 
I really do like this. I love that crunch of the celery. Uh, the cilantro in there, it's a perfect amount. I love that flavor with it. The, the green onion, I think, was a really good choice. It's, it's there. It's subtle. Uh, I love the flavor of the green onion. And that curry, it's, it's, a little, it's, it's hot, but it's not overwhelmingly hot. You, you can taste the heat, but it's not overpowering. It's just got a really great curry flavor. If you don't want that much curry, you can adjust it however you want. I think that one tablespoon is fine. Well, all in all, I think this is a success. No fruits, no raisins, no apples, no apricots. No, no. I really like this. Thanks for watching, folks.